going to feed you guys Cracker Bell for breakfast every day from now on. <laughs> Who better than Doug Benson? Nobody! This is an uh, amazing show we're doing. Just basically just bong water on ice. Feed me, Avanti! You're welcome. It's a thing we used to do in the 50s. <laughs> Did they put the bad signal on your titties? Because you got them! <laughs> Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Doug Benson and Andy Haynes. Matt Bronger and Doug Benson. Sarah Silverman and Doug Benson. Jeff Garland and Doug Benson. Doug Benson and Sarah Tion. Doug Benson, Greg Fitzsimmons, and Esther Koo. Doug Benson and Eleanor Perry. Doug Benson and Jerron Horton. Dom Irera, Big J Okerson, and Doug Benson. Doug Benson and Eric Griffin. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Doug Benson and Sal Volcano. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Doug Benson and Mark Marin. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. And Randy Sklar. Doug Benson. Doug Benson and Ali Makovsky. And the thing that I want to ask you is one time Adam said, one time Adam said that he thinks all the Cheech and Chong movies suck. Now, the way I look at it is the first one up in smoke in 78, that was a Yeah, walk us through all of them. <laughs> the other ones weren't that good. You know, everyone in this audience is waiting to get up and tell a joke. <laughs> they are just putting up with your bullshit. Just because you're a genuine superhero. Uh, you'll get a chance to talk to me again. Are you kidding me? We're going to do the Rogan show together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you see what I'm doing with my head? You can You can see through that thing? Sorry, you could, You know, it's too late for you to be a part of it. Yeah, you're, but we can do other things together. You would have been perfect. All right, well, your plans scare me. And um, <laughs> I don't know what to... Uh, how to respond to it. Let me say something. But, uh, Do you, you know one of the favorite scenes that I saw feed in that I loved was Bridget Fonda and Jackie Brown. Did you ever see that scene? Oh, she's... With she the is tan hot feet? in that. Huh? You, have, you have a foot fetish thing. No, no, too, no. no. I'm, he's mentioning Tarantino, who I've right. noticed has a foot fetish that I don't appreciate. Because right. he doesn't... Too, every, he introduces most characters with their, their, shoe, feet. With their feet yeah. and their shoes. I love Tarantino, but come on, man. All this stuff, is it always here? No, no. For Kill Tony, it's got a very Asian... Yeah, it's a different set. Chinese restaurant vibe. <laughs> exactly. Tonight. Exactly. I admire how comedy Patriot can, can lay back like that. Like, he's not pushy. He doesn't jump in when he's not being spoken to. Oh, Tony already spoke. Uh, what did I just say? <laughs> I got a squirt bottle. <laughs> it just felt to me like you lost all the women in the crowd immediately with just kind of like, yeah, women, they should just fucking go to sleep. <laughs> Which I agree with, but that's not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is to, uh, you know, make it stronger for uh, general audiences. You know, because that's what you have to do, unfortunately. Uh, you don't get to perform for fans right out of the gate. <laughs> Once they already like you, you can get away with anything. Why are you staring at me? Because I thought I'm supposed to turn to you and get your thoughts as well. Isn't this like yeah, American Idol? You know. So you already, you already know that, uh, that like, you know, when you're not getting laughs, that it's better to not point it out, right? Uh, sometimes I get away with it, and sometimes I... Yeah, well, sometimes it'll turn the tide, but when you only have a minute and a bear is approaching... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I understand the impulse say this is not going great, but like on Star Search, which I did a million years ago, uh, we only had two minutes, and like uh, n nobody ever says, "Oh, this isn't going well." Out loud, <laughs> you just kind of have to pretend that it's going well. Uh, sometimes Ru <laughs> their Ruth got stolen. Oh, geez, <laughs> Wait, what is it? Their Ruth got jacked, so they're ruthless. Wait, what? <laughs> Some comedy is just for me. I'm the only one that gets this guy, so fucking let him finish. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was the saddest kiss of my life I've ever seen in my life. Thanks for sticking by me, Doug. What else you got? You know what I'm saying, though? It's easier for a girl like her to, to have sex anytime she wants than a guy. Is there, do you have an off switch? <laughs> um. Doug, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, you hey, you. Patriot, oh, I'm sorry. I'm time. sorry, Patriot. What's up? Oh, do I gotta call him Patriot? Or call him whatever you want. It was great meeting you, Doug, in August on Kill Tony 13. We bonded quickly over our mutual love of Bridget Fonda's feet and Jackie Brown. Now you remember that. We don't do you? both love her feet and Jackie Brown. Wait, yeah. he, so he's one of the guys that hangs out on Mondays. He yes. comes to the he comes to the store dressed like that. Yeah, yeah. He has to ride on the bus standing up because he can't uh, he, sit down yeah, in that suit. Once he once the suits on. So this is like your thing. Yes, it's my gimmick, my stick. 
<laughs> and he's also an extra, though. He's also in a lot of TV shows. Of course you can find he him is. On Easter egg. Of course he is. Right. Now, can I say one more thing, Dad? Oh, before we boy. Now, this is what I want to say. Please. One more, one more thing. Okay. Three of the biggest podcasters, Joe Rogan, Mark Maron, and Adam Carolla, all started in 2009. You started your podcast in 2006, Doug Loves Movies. How did you have the foresight to start podcasting so early, Doug? That's a great quote. Put your hands together for the Patriot, everybody. Awesome. Yeah, Doug. I thought, you know, if I get into this thing early enough, maybe some other guys will come along and they'll be much bigger than me at this. <laughs> also, that, that Aubrey Plaza told you a story is hard to swallow. Like, how long did you talk to her for? No, I just told her how much I loved hearing her on that. Yeah, and then she called security. Yeah, they just did the premiere last week, and I was right behind Rashida Jones in a screenshot. Wow. So everybody, look for him. Uh, look yeah. for the guy who you don't know what he looks like. <laughs> right. He'll be right in there. Math, exactly. math jokes are pretty hard, though. Like, I have a math joke, and half the time it works. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, it just it doesn't always add up. I, 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 <laughs> 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 What's your math joke? Yeah, I, wanna, like I, I math actually joke. have three math jokes, <laughs> but uh, my biggest one is like I, I stopped quitting smoking cigarettes because I saw on Dr. Phil that uh, every time you smoke a pack of cigarettes, it takes off 30 minutes. Meow. 30 <laughs> minutes. Did you ever use the Somov, the Persian spice that I gave you? Yeah, it's good. Oh, that was you gave me? Yeah, it was yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting flavor. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What? 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 You gave me... <laughs> Nor yo, yo, yo. Did you try that Persian spice? Yeah. <laughs> that shit I slipped you? What'd you think of that? Uh, Put pretty... some stevia in there, it'll kill you. <laughs> um, do you ever listen to the Persian Spice Girls? Yeah, all the time. I don't understand them. Well, they try to, you know, tell you what they want, what they really, really want. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but they're speaking in Persian. So yeah, it's very it's difficult. Hard that there's a language barrier. <laughs> hey, Tony, host your show. Has, oh my God, Persian Spice Girl. It's jokes like that that just fucking kill me. All right. Uh, not only is Those this jokes guy, kill Tony, is that what you're oh, trying to say? Oh, you son of a bitch. There you go. Full circle. Who the wolf is trying to eat in that fairy tale? I'm just getting, I'm getting the little. Confused. She's little, but what else is? How else would you describe her? I don't know. Uh, like what's she wearing? Uh, red Riding Hood. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm getting raped on this stage. Guys. <laughs> Where are you going, lady? You gotta take a shit. How does that fit in? <laughs> Definitely. Snap one off for daddy. Oh yeah. lord, that's the worst Slim Jim commercial ever. <laughs> But the, the other joke was he took his sister in The Wire, not the other kid. Like, The Wire was more important. Season one of The right, Wire. Right, was more important than his brother. I think a lot of us were just, uh, you know, caught in that moment going, is, is that the best season of The Wire? Because <laughs> I, was, I was pretty into season four. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so we don't mind the other kid dying, but pick a different season of The Wire. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure to get on Thank you. I'm yeah. also a huge fan of both of you guys. Oh, thanks. Oh, of course. Awesome. Thank you very Wait, much. Wait, which two? <laughs> <laughs> you know there's four of us sitting here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, good job, Frank. No, yeah, seriously, good job. you're good. good job. Thank you very much, guys. Good but, really, really, but it really just, good. it seems like it's just hard to, like, just kind of get by on uh, oddness, you know? Like, you got to... You know, you don't want uncomfortable laughter. You want genuine laughter. So I, th I think you could write really good jokes and, and probably yeah. deliver them in a more normal way. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you this. This is the only thing I'll say to you. There are no shortcuts. That's it. Wow. You That's really, a really great point. Really cuts really to the heart of it, Mark. Just say that every time when you get out of here. Let me yeah. share something. Let me share something. I pulled a... I would take out a, pe a this stuffed penguin that I had, like a... You know... Uh, that was in the bag? It was in the bag, yeah. And it would... And it, it was this thing that I got where inside the penguin, like it was a male penguin, but inside it was like this uh, plastic egg. And then if you open up the egg, there's like a little stuffed uh, penguin baby, baby penguin on the, in the inside of it. And so I would just hold the penguin and then like squeeze it and the egg would pop out. And then I'd open the egg and show everybody the baby penguin and then put the whole, all of it away. And that was, 
that was the bit. Like, I was very influenced by, like, uh, like Andy Kaufman, you know? And they're both females, and, 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 which is weird because, like, females are, they get shit on as a stand-up comic. You know, like, it's weird seeing a stand-up comic Yeah, and they get called like, females. Yeah. Like, like, it's some sort of weird fucking alien species. Oh, we got some females coming out here, everybody. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's, he's really growing as an artist. <laughs> yeah, Doug, Doug, can I talk to you a little bit? Oh, <laughs> sure. Now, here we go. You know, you always have your first smoke down of the day at 419. Now, did you arrive at that precise time over a lot of experimentation uh, over the years of, you know, smoking too early and too late? And is, How did you come at that time? Is this a real question? It's 419. Is that... Is you, that... Know, you know, you've heard of 420, Comic Patriot? Oh! There you go. <laughs> Oh my god, that really just happened. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, every episode at 419, I announce that it's 419, and then we're smoking at 420. <laughs> what was that? Well, well, Doug, something, I, somebody I, just threw some uh, energy drink. Five hour energy. Can I ask you this, Doug? I, mm-hmm. I know that Tony isn't a big enough star on his own to come on your show, but what if Jesus I. Jesus Christ! What, now, what, what if I came Oh my with God, him? you piece He's of definitely, shit! What if I came oh, with it's him, Brian Doug? that's throwing what stuff. Is, what if I came along with him? Would that be enough star power us to get it to come on? Oh my God, Patriot. <laughs> I was. You're a couple steps ahead of me, which is odd because you could barely move in that thing. <laughs> Um, but I was go- I was thinking about doing an episode where you just stand in the corner and do this thing that you're doing now. No, because yeah. that'd be pretty fun. Because we would just we could just blow pot smoke in your face the whole time. Well, I want to be right in there though with you in the conversation. I don't want to be on the side. I want to be participating. Put a tube into him, like so a tube's just coming out the side, and we could all blow it into oh, his mouth. Yeah, let's blow it great. inside your yeah. costume. Because yeah. I want to come down to Culver City to that studio and see that uh, video podcast network. All right, well, it bothers me that you know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you just recently get really high and watch The Lion King? <laughs> like three weeks ago, but I didn't get high. Just... Three weeks ago? Yeah, three or four weeks ago. And that's what was happening. You well, were noticing just all that time. deep shit when yeah. that was going on. <laughs> I could Fine, I finally, it. someone's called that movie on its bullshit. <laughs> Oh yeah, God. maybe maybe now you found a, a kind of an area of more material is like uh, how how you think p- people perceive you and uh, you know uh, how uh, <laughs> I don't know and what how, I'm saying. And then how that's <laughs> part. Now, can we take off your shoes? To see oh my God, no, Patreon, no. Whoa. Melanie Baldonado, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. There thank she goes. You. Jesus, Patriot, you're out of control yeah. tonight. Do you have you ever do you ever pay women so you can uh, look at their feet? Uh, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of figured, kind of figured. Hey, I was just watching Savages so today. So maybe you could give a Melanie you know, a nice offer. You know, Doug, that movie Savages. There's a good scene of Selma Hayek with somebody massaging her feet. I just watched that today. Have you seen Savages? I, you know, I haven't Oliver, seen it. I, I was Oliver intrigued, Stone. and it got uh, it got bad reviews. Patriot and, uh, is, is Patriot. Is there like a website that you can go to? to yeah, uh, Wiki Feet. Oh, my God. Wiki feet? That's where I found Natasha Leggero. I found that she has a little curve on her toe. I found that on Wiki. Yeah, and then you mentioned it to her on this show, and she freaked out. And... <laughs> yeah, you know the story, the legend. Yeah, the, the legend. <laughs> you happen to catch a bald eagle, he's going to be freaking out his cage. His wings are going everywhere. He's like, nah! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty clever. That's clever to do animal noises at the same time. Yeah. As Brian's animal noise, it really blended together nicely. I thought yeah. it was, I thought you were really getting in some deep Michael Winslow shit, <laughs> and that you were making the cat noise and the. Yeah, that was weird. What was that? An eagle? Well, I'm just saying I'm using the heroin withdrawal like mm-hmm. with a girl. Yeah. I gotta say That's that insane. I I gotta give it up to all the comedians that come on this show to to stand there and do their act without even acting like that guy standing next to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a challenge in and of itself. Both yeah, true patriot. so yeah. you might want to apologize, Patriot, yeah. to a true I Patriot. We have a real Patriot on stage. <laughs> yeah. Not just he one. didn't ride a bus to <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! That might have been the best minute I've had so far this year. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
friend, stoner buddy. We always get high. I got too high on getting dug with high. I just started I, I started off with a giant bong rip, and I never fully recovered. <laughs> Patriot, you have a question for our friend Doug Benson? You don't have to have a question. Well, I do. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask you, this is a serious question here. What oh, is the shit. longest you've gone without being high? Um... Too long. <laughs> well, the you know my first 28 years, uh, pretty much. Yeah, I didn't start till I was 28, and then um, and then since then, I guess the longest break was the 30 days for super high me when I didn't smoke for 30 days, and uh, yeah, now now if I want to get a really good high, I'll like uh, you know I'll wait a while bef- between you know get it smoking like maybe a few hours. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a bearer that's working in a Foley studio or something. Yeah. It is your kid, right? Like, it looks kind of like this, No, no, this, this is definitely me. This is definitely... Right. Uh, he has your black skin. He's and... got, yeah, he's got, my, he's got my sort of olive uh, complexion. She does, yeah. Definitely mine. Which is good. Okay. So... Well, we've uh, run some tests, and we're going to give you the results after this break. <laughs> You are not the father. Did you name your daughter Portia? No. <laughs> That's a great name. Why, why is Brian laughing so hard at that? <laughs> Big Shakespeare fan? <laughs> but, uh, I'm just imagining the childhood that this poor kid's going to have, and it's going to grow up become a stripper, so they just did it early Oh, they on. gave her the stripper name <laughs> immediately. I see. Start with the stripper name. <laughs> now, Lamborghini. <laughs> She has the last name Sachs, though, huh? Yes. This little, beautiful Ooh. little girl has the last name Sachs. Correct. What's Fiona. It? Fiona Sachs. Fiona, Fiona Sachs. Sachs. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's a cat uh, name. does sound like a porn name. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that's, uh, that's too far. That's too much. That's, <laughs> that's too much. Guys, give it up next. Fiona Sachs to the stage. <laughs> She's two months old. Put your what fucking together. strip club have you ever been... How long have you been doing stand-up? Since 70... <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's been a very, very, very long time. I don't like to talk about it. Really? Yeah, I like to, you know, keep I, it, keep people confused. I had, I had Sinbad on a few weeks ago. He's been doing it 30 years. Yeah, well, he, you know, Sinbad can brag about something like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I loved it. I did too. It was great, man. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. You could tell you've been doing it for a while. How long have you been doing it? How long have you been doing stand-up? Why are you looking at me while right he's talking to you? Why the fuck are you both what's ha- what's so happening? Cagey? <laughs> me Why and Charlie Chevy are so cagey about how long you've done comedy. <laughs> what the fuck is going well, on? That's why he looked at me. Yeah. Because oh, he didn't want to... Yeah. We're in the same boat. <laughs> we both, we've both been doing comedy for 60 years. <laughs> you guys are both and the Neither one of us wants story. to admit it. Do you want to go out patients. into a river and um, catch fish in your mouth? No. Okay. Wait. Just trying to think of other ways that you're bear like. Do you like uh yes. do you like picnic baskets? <laughs> oh <laughs> Doug Benson. I like a picnic basket. Yeah. Now George is one of my toughest friends. George, you've been to prison, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you know about Rufy? You ever been Rufy? You ever Rufy anybody? What's the deal? Uh I roofied somebody once. <laughs> but, like, I had a bad conscience, so I gave her a plan B pill, too. Wow, oh, oh, it up. Somebody <laughs> came with some material tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Take notes. Natural. There's no way that's a true story. <laughs> I already had three babies' moms. Say so what? I already had three babies' moms, so I didn't want four. You have th- three babies with three moms? Yes. Well, you really are a patriot. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. He is really adding to this country. Fuck yeah. What's up? I know you smoke a lot of weed. I don't know if you do coke or anything else. No, sir. But, uh, do you ever watch animal porn? (laughs) (laughs) Isn't that just wild? I thought he would ask me something challenging, but it's it's pretty, it's true and uh, also just the right thing to say. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant... 
<laughs> yeah, see, I'm gonna judge the other comedy that comes up on stage because I am a pro that said nay. <laughs> and got some groans from the audience. That's, that's, no matter how long, this is my lesson for everyone here tonight. No matter how long you've been doing it, you're not above getting a fucking groan from the bullshit crowd that got into a free show. <laughs> Sure, uh, what's your question for Andy Haynes? Uh, you've done a lot of late night. Wait a second. I did, I did animal porn? And he gets a question about his career? Unfair. Because also you said you smoke a lot of pot and then went to animal porn. What's the connection there? Do you think pot smokers are into disgusting things? Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Yeah, you got booed by a lady. How does that feel? Not so iron. Feels soft and sad. God, there's a lot of sexual tension between Doug and George. Because he kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't want to get into it, but... Uh, Whoa, Whoa. Is somebody wants to steal your wallet or something? I came in here with a beef with the, uh, the whole Patriot premise. Right? That's right. Because I think the original Patriot deserves to have what he did just die. And you guys think of something new right. instead of making him want to kill himself. <laughs> that fucking guy drove, came here on a bus every week yeah. where he had to just stand on the bus because he couldn't sit down in the outfit. Yeah. This guy gets to wander in, throw on a couple of gloves. We, you yeah. came on my podcast and it was a train wreck because... Right. Because then we were done. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was the That's moment you were You never killed it. the Patriot. Now you have a guilty conscience. We never I do have a guilty conscience. But I won't put him on my show. You realize we never talked to him again after your show. Like, that was it. I've only yeah. talked to him in sad tweets I didn't respond he basically, to. <laughs> he basically quit Kill Tony live on getting oh, Doug with I thought him. he was in after that. Oh, and that, that went scary. very poorly. Yeah, that's the worst thing. Like, if anybody ever says, like, if I'm on the road and they're like, Hey, Tony, man, I saw you on Getting Doug with High. Like, my heart just melts yeah. immediately. Because that's by far the worst thing that I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, that episode of that show... You got more quiet than I've ever seen right. you in your life. Right. Yeah. Brian was still, Brian was not only up and into it and happy, yeah. he was blowing hits into Iron Patriot right. every single time he yeah. took a hit. He would blow it at him. And like I think it was his girlfriend and they were trying to save money. I was so. <laughs> so the reason why I'm not talking during it, most of it, isn't because of how high I actually You were just got. distancing it's yourself from the whole experience. I was so furious that any, like, if I would have started talking about it, I knew that I was going to... But dude, during the first break, hey, you know what, Brian, Doug, do you agree that uh, Patriot's not working out? We should walk him off the set now? I, That's well, all you needed to say. back on That's it, we would have done that. He was only supposed to be in the second half, but you right. asked to have him on the whole thing. Yeah. Because you guys, he was the co-host of your show way, at the time. We're, in, we're, we're missing out oh, on yeah. a great podcast yes. while talking about <laughs> while rationalizing the worst podcast any of us have ever done. Yeah. Right? How long are you in town for? No, I moved. I moved here. Wow, how long ago? Uh, three weeks. Congratulations. Bold, bold ass move. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't recommend to anybody to do stand up in LA unless they were like already had like a full like headliner set ready to go. But, that being said, there's, there really are no rules, and uh, you can still make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, 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 got, you gotta watch, in the, uh, watch out in the comedy room. You think Bill to come in and do this show? One of the worst yeah. things is uh, people over-talking, like Doug Benson. But the other thing is that uh, <laughs> people, comics... comics uh, I did what? <laughs> Comedians uh, often attack other comics for stealing their essence that's been used a lot, which is right. one of the funniest <laughs> essence. That's some <laughs> bullshit. There is a lot of essence, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you watched Bill's last special, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, Yeah, just when you walked out here, you looked like you were in black and white. You <laughs> I could tell that you just watched Bill's new special. And I weigh 140 pounds soaking wet. So I was trying... <laughs> 
Why does what somebody weighs soaking wet come up so often? Like, does soaking wet add that much weight to, like, oh, it's the uh, most weight I could possibly weigh because I was soaking wet. There was more maybe more an ounce or two of water on the edges of my skin and hair. And you should Thank be you like, oh, water. I weighed this much with a fucking suit on right. or whatever. Uh, and maybe, one time, maybe, maybe, maybe. carrying a barbell that weighed 10 pounds. But saying, <laughs> saying I was this weight soaking wet is just like, well, why? what's your point? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I weigh about 140-ish, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, oh! The see, we already fixed it. Next time you say it, I weigh 140-ish. <laughs> we did? Yeah, Soak, he said ish and soaking wet? He said I'm 140 Kick her out. soaking wet. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh, you know that first joke, that was like... When he did say that thing that he did not say! <laughs> Just yelled out. I think you got everything you need except for jokes. <laughs> I'm saying he's fine, you know? Like, right. <laughs> just keep doing it. And the jokes will come. Don't go too positive with it. Still Still the crispin up come the pizza on, crust. Microphone. Oh, microphone. microphone. There it is. We got a mic. Oh, oh proper chest. It finally worked and then he broke it. Uh, hell yeah. I like to be uh, one of those edgy comedians that does the mic drop before he said anything cool. <laughs> Yeah, yes. one for one on that. It's a power yeah. move. It's yeah. a power move. I, I just thought that thing. you would say the word ejaculate in a way that made everyone uncomfortable. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to go to that. The thing that stood out for me is because you said it twice and both times it was like ejaculate. <laughs> it seemed very uh, professorial or scientific as opposed to uh, a comedian, you know. I'm a palooza for trying to smuggle a bike on the <laughs> I really had something oh great. God. I had something so good. I kept trying to say it, but we, we instead had to hear that. <laughs> Very good. Thank great you. job. Yeah, I was real well put together. Sarah, the whole thing was regimented great. You came out with jerky. Okay, now, off now the some fuck. incoherence. Sarah, Here we go. <laughs> Sarah, you came out with jerky. <laughs> Yeah. This next comic either gets a sweet break in uh, having David Arquette gone for their entire set or the awful break of having him return in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, listen, this is a true story. I'm a wild cat. My girl. Wait, 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 what did you just say? You're a what? Wild cat. Yeah. I'm yeah. Really a wild dog. Yeah, yeah. David, I'm you don't have to tell people that after we've seen okay, you for 45 minutes in a row. More dog than cat, but... You listen, you... everybody, I'm a fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> now, the point I'm trying to make... Oh, Can I tell you, you a 15 second... Sorry, 15 I'll see you in Pensacola. Can I open for you? <laughs> I'll put you on for a few minutes. Hey, cool. Michael, Bill. right? I can get up with you. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Michael. <laughs> okay, you agree. He just got minutes. five minutes on my show. There you go. So now Pensacola. Right. <laughs> I like you, Doug Benson. He's the greatest! Pat, what's your question for that Doug Benson? Spicy. Uh, Doug, okay, uh, yes. what, what is, my friend Dan was uh, telling me today that he thinks circumcision is genital mutilation. What is your opinion on circumcision? Sub-question, are you circumcised? Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The party has begun, everyone. And I'm all right with it, because that's when it's not circumcised, it's kind of weird, right? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, again, the horse of truth. Uh, this horse uh, is a bump in hell. We got him back for their bagpipes earlier, so revenge is sweet. That's what the bagpipes were? Yeah. I Rabbi. thought those bagpipers were here because there was a special episode called Kilt Tony. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. That's how I do it. Fucking amazing. He wrote that in just 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. What? What do you have to say to Jack? Great job. Doug, you're in the belly room. Uh, Doug, you're in the belly room of the comedy store right tonight. now. Sometimes you have to remind Doug of where he is exactly. Yeah, and, uh, where the hell am I? <laughs> I see like some sort of neon of W.C. Fields over there, so I think I might be at an uh, old, old movie festival. <laughs> and uh, well, 
I'll tell you this, Jack. I could I, use another drink. That's what I. That's all I have to say right Josh, now. Josh, another Doug Benson. Thank you. Bring me a Doug Benson. Um, just basically just bong water on ice. <laughs> Yeah, you man. should always ask them to play super hard music like that yeah, when you come good... on and dress like that. And then when you're like, hey, what's up? It's a, <laughs> it's an awesome contrast. Really good. Oh, can I say the dumbest, dumbest thing? But that bit is funny. But I, And maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think it's a, more referred to as an indoor cat, not an inside cat. That is the dumbest note. But in a way, it is because mm-hmm. the people mm-hmm. stop for a second. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Call it an indoor cat. Indoor cat. <laughs> Listen, that is not the best advice you'll get in your life. Fixed. But. That's noted. Arson's a cute name. For it's not a bad name for it. He's a black dog. But you got to right? come up with a joke for that. Well, he has a, he has a bunch of sweaters, and his nickname is Cosby because of all the sweaters. So there's a whole joke in that. It's not funny though. I know. I know. I didn't say the it. The dog it's not funny. is a serial rapist. Hey guys, I'm only home half uh, the day. I don't know what he's doing. I'm. Oh, that's a great joke. I'm gone. What? Well, because he goes he because he goes he has all these sweaters, so I call him Cosby. He has all these sweaters. I call him Cosby because he's a serial rapist. <laughs> it just it kind of connects. Boom. Thank you. Yeah. And, and, uh, and the Reese's thing and taking notes. Or I call him Arson because I stole him from a firehouse. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't good. He's a he's a he's a Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, part part Dalmatian. Oh. W- right? What kind of? Really? That's what kind of dog is that? He's just a, like a part Dalmatian mutt. I got yeah. him. Bam! He is part. That's Dalmatian. why he called him arson, motherfucker. And you nailed it. <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah, yeah. At first, I thought your Dalmatian reference was a little spotty, but I see after all. Oh, <laughs> this guy. That's the shakiest I've ever seen someone who also still fucking delivers the yeah. jokes. Yeah. It's amazing. That was great. Yeah. Will you folks wear that every time? Can you wear those every week for us? Uh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, could you shake a little bit? Yeah. No, thank you. All All right. What? All right, everybody. (laughs) 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 No, not. I meant because the last girl was shaking. Oh, 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 trembling. It wasn't like asking a 19-year-old to shake her tits for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad we cleared that up, actually, because it was like a bummer for a second, a little bit. The last show you were on was with Sinbad. Yeah, and, he, was, uh, he was funny and nice. Yeah, he's great. He's a good guy? Yeah, he is a good guy. Nice. Yeah, that was nice. No, you know what I mean? It's, it's good like, to hear. It is good yeah. to hear. It's hard yeah. to be, it's hard to not be, it's hard to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I just want to make it clear, I love Doug Benson. So no, no matter what I say to him tonight, just know I love him. Yeah, just know that, you guys, because it's going to get super ugly. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know it, too, you <laughs> fucking loser. Questioning where it was going, and then the final line about it, how you're gay because you're, <laughs> master- you're fucking yourself, is... Uh, <laughs> Well, well, listen, it was a, Jeff just it pet Doug It was a, a good... Uh, yeah, and he calmed me down. I was getting pretty excited. How old are you? Uh, like I said, my favorite number, 69. 69 years old. 69 years old? Yes, sir. Fuck. Wow, you do not look it. And also, I don't want to hear 69 jokes from someone who is <laughs> 69. No, me, no here, here's what I'm going to tell <laughs> you. Know, you know what Doug does now is one of the best Bane impressions. Have you ever heard his Bane? And when you say one of the best, it's probably in the top 12. Well, I mean, in, in the world. That's normally when you would just do the Bane impression, Doug. But uh, what's I guess, that music? I, I guess, like a professional. I just jump in and <laughs> oh, well. and do it like he did when I told him to do his. Yeah. Your performance needs to come out of the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I love that. You know, I just imagine that there were people that rode your bus regulars yeah. that you could talk about. Yes. There okay. were. But so what the fuck are you doing? Because I got other shit to fucking talk about. Then well, then you're good. Then yeah, the you loved the minute that she did. Yeah. I did. I and laughed now hard. she's got another minute of, or more about bus minutes driving. But she's not she's doing she's the bus, ready you to She can't. The bus is too big a story to do in a minute. No, but she Pussy does waxing. Do bam. No. Say it three times. Wait a minute, wait meow. A minute. You're done. You're really sick. Stick to your culture and wear one of those weird surgical masks. Yeah. That your grandparents wear... Every next, every flight that I'm on around this country. <laughs> First off, you're is that why they're all wearing those to keep us from getting sick? That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. Because it doesn't work the other way around, supposedly. No, it doesn't. So I always laugh at them, like, "What are you doing?" But they're trying to keep they're me thoughtful. from getting sick. That's so sweet. I'm gonna run over and pull that mask off and kiss them on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, 
yeah, I, you know, you, you already said that he's a favorite around here. This is my first time seeing you, right? Uh -huh. I've never been in this seat before uh, when you're on, and uh, I thought that was, uh, I, you know, you're a professional comic in my mind. I was going to talk about going down on girls, but I figured that wasn't your, like, steez. Start way. up a new minute. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> and so, really, it does me no good to tell my wife, oh, I've taken my a wife. <laughs> What is that? That's uh, what's his name? It's a uh, popular thing that people do. Yeah, my but no, ten years ago. By the way, you got a large blade on the table. Yeah, so that's always always makes for is a fun uh, night out. Well, actually, we've locked it in. It doesn't it doesn't come out anymore. We had to super glue it for uh, for legal issues. Did you notice that that was going on the entire time you were on? No, not at all. You were just all focused. It's what a professional does, Doug. Right. Well, <laughs> oops. Oops. Wow, he almost walked off the stage. I like yeah, why did you drop the mic while you were at it? Oh, oh, wait. Hey. Oh, the horse of truth coming out. What oh, is that? I've never, is that really a thing? Well, the yeah. horse of truth? Yeah. I, I what does it mean? It's, it means that he said something true. Yeah. I'm not a professional. That's not true. Um, but it is what a professional does. Oh, what does that mean? Is that the cow of fate? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I saw you walking through the streets of New York at the end of Ghostbusters. And all the way back then, I'm like, this fucking guy has acting chops. Don't listen to these guys. Stay pumped, my man. Do you think anybody's ever said, I'm going to get an abortion? Of course. LOL. I'm off to an abortion. Yeah, like you could have kept going with the degree stuff because everybody has that pain of like paying back student loans. Oh, I also have the pain of taking girls to get abortions. Okay. Well, oh, I, wow. I feel like, I feel, yeah, but I feel like he's getting right, into that. He's right. The men have it worse in those situations. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the magazines in the waiting room? The Wait, why were you in the waiting room? I, did you did you have to sit next to her and hold her hand while like the vacuum cleaner? Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Car wash, it's Brian. Oh, Brian. Not, not that involved, no. If you want to save money, a dustbuster uh, has a reverse function. But no, it didn't Wait. seem. It didn't seem. Would <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you want to blow dust into her? It just kind of came out of nowhere, and I felt like it was a whole. Like, didn't need classes. You don't need classes to get up and do what you just did. Right. Right. right? And you can keep doing it without classes. In a way, the student loans is more meaty than the abortion. In a way. I'm pretty sure Doug just I had mean, a stroke. I'm saying. I'm steering you. That was my impression of the first 90 minutes of Hateful Eight. <laughs> There's a lot of talking that doesn't necessarily go anywhere. No, like There's so much. And, and are you worried about being Palestinian in Los Angeles? Is that no, a fear? No, no, no. Okay, because I used to date a Palestinian for a really long time. And <laughs> yes. Some good Middle Eastern comedians. Brody Stevens? <laughs> I think Brody Stevens is the best comedian in the whole entire room. In the world! Yeah, let's get some Brody Stevens lessons. Brody, 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 Brody Stevens! Brody, could you do one minute right now, show yeah. them how it's done? Just yeah. one minute. Yeah. Just stay up here. movies. I saw the movie uh, Straight Outta Compton. Nice. It's about, a lot of people think it's about uh, the band N.W.A. The band, it's, it's, it's not about the band N.W.A. Uh, you know, the history of N.W.A., Eazy -E, he developed AIDS. <laughs> and I grew up here in Los Angeles, and there, when that was happening, there's a lot of rumors going around. Is, is, is Eazy -E gay? Is he gay? And he had to fight those rumors. And that's what the, the movie is about. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> Brandon Bay oh, in Chicago in next weekend uh, doing a uh, it's, Chicago it's Cubs gonna convention. Gotta be in Chicago for Chicago Cubs it's convention. Be a convention <laughs> for baby bears. <laughs> <laughs> Stop by with your favorite baby bear and uh, Brody will sign it. Brody will sign it. Anus. <laughs> oh, why do we have to go there? Doug, what's coming up for you? Doug Benson. Right. One of them's making a distinguishable crackle. I think it's it's Doug's. It's not mine. We've lost everybody now. Still.
Rip I'm it. trying not to move it. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! What was that? <laughs> I couldn't see. Did you just drop it? They dropped it. Yeah. I've never seen anyone drop the yeah. mic while things are going terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Normally that is something saved for like you just crushed it or something like that. You've been on the show before, right? Yeah. And you yeah. did the same minute, right? Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what went wrong? <laughs> uh, did it go um, better the first time you did it on here? When, when your boss was like, dude, you need to get all this David Bowie shit, were you like under pressure from, uh, from uh, him to... But then, then you could have been a hero. From him to... <laughs> yeah. Just for one day. Can we ch 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 change the subject? <laughs> Next time you feel like kissing the top of her head, put your hand on her head first and then kiss your own hand. Because then she won't, you did it, but she won't know about it. That's like, true. My biggest critique of your set was opening with, I had to come from the back of the room. Because we all have to do that when it's our turn to go on. <laughs> yeah. We don't just magically appear. We have to come from the back of the room. So just don't make excuses at the beginning and go right into your ripoff of Adam Sandler. Go. Absolutely. Yeah. Stand, thanks. You can walk into the fat club, like your ass isn't welcome at the fat club. I guess there's just no more room at the fat club. Like if I if they let me in, like it's gonna tip the scale, it's gonna like break the f Thank you. Uh, well the first rule is don't talk about fat club. <laughs> Series finale of ER. Or season. 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 Which season? Yeah. Season, season. Uh, eight. Oh, okay. Small and it went ten years. I love that. I love that you pretend like you can't remember the number of the <laughs> season. Seven or eight. I, I didn't remember. Really? I guess I hit shots from outside. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love when you guys crack each other up. This, this is why. This is why I have to give it. Really near. At least if you have three people on stage, at least you can laugh at each other if the audience isn't laughing. <laughs> really, really but I also think that like you should do a thing where like you, the green shirt, you do all jokes about weed, and the guy in the blue shirt, you do all dirty jokes, blue jokes, and like you already established, the guy in the middle barely is involved. Yeah. Like, not no, she's, oh, she's we met a girl. She's six feet under. <laughs> we put. Three two inch dicks in her. So, do you guys really think Yeah, did you guys have that still doesn't add up to six feet? My fear is that if I were ever to be sterile, that I'd have to ask one of them to put the baby or the sperm in my That's a fear? They would be helping you out, dude. And the baby's gonna be the same shit anyway. I thought that was so funny what you said earlier, uh you whispered in my ear. Spencer Calendar is his name. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I w that was just for you, that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, wow. When he got introduced, like when he got introduced, I just said to him, because it's so dumb, I was just like, oh, Spencer Calendar, he's funny all year round. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> See? There you go. That's what I... Right. But I had to... Once I was caught and you I setting me up, I had to negate it before I said it. I like that. You though. always got to apologize I when you know it might not work. I just thought... All you're doing in the audience, like this guy in the front row, he's like, everybody doesn't know I have a receding hairline. I'm uh, pulling it off. Whoa. Oh, uh, Really? No, see, so you got oh, a full head of hair, too. Look at that good, full head yeah. of hair. How Fucking dare you, Don't dog. waste a hat on a full head of hair. <laughs> it's the That's lesson I'm trying. Oh, oh no. <laughs> A, a vehicle's crashing into the building. Let's evacuate. Yeah, you hate Donald Trump. I follow you on Twitter, Doug, and you have a lot of uh. I I don't want him to be president. You know, I'm 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 all right with him that he exists, but uh, he's complaining about them and saying that they're biased. Yeah, it's really biased how they cut to you every time you you know take a shit. Yeah, you're right. There you go, Doug Benson. Uh, Giving you what you need to know going into this year's election. <laughs> we all vote with Doug Benson. Wait a second. There's an election this year? <laughs> <laughs> it felt more like a, you were just listing off a bunch of facts about, oh, no, about no. things in your life yeah. <laughs> without punchlines. Go, Tony. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so let's get back no, to it. Fine. I wish I had taken notes during your thing because all I could think of during it was there's a lot of jokes in here, but all, all of them need work. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I thought it was clever how you do the setup, but no punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's, damn it! It's, it's such on. a it's such a tease. Yeah, you're the M Night Shyamalan of joke telling. <laughs> what do you do for work, Jeff? Uh, I'm in sales. 
What are you selling? European architectural Sellers. hardware. I'm in sales. Well, <laughs> like you tried to put an extra spin on just the word sales. I'm in sales. <laughs> no, it's nothing fancy. I'm in sales. Sure, we. Can talk I like about when people say words funny, and I like the way you say opera. Oh, thank yeah, you so much, Doug. You called it an opera. What do you do for work? I nanny. Ooh, fuck yeah! Wow, that, I'm sorry I wasted Tinder? any of our time with that opera shit. <laughs> We got a nanny on our head. Fa fa fa. Okay. My name is Big J. Tom is good. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled another name out of the. Tom's bucket. had enough. Doug's not listening to the show at all at this point. <laughs> Doug I doesn't care. Still. Here for the drinks. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here, here we go for reals. Keep going. No, no, you, you get this is good. Wow, yeah, a Tarantino movie was about to start. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a true stereotype. Junkies don't... Listen, here's what you need to understand. Most drug yeah, dealers... Yeah, junkies don't listen. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> You guys go like into a uh, like a uh, Forever 21 or what have you, and say we need three shirts that are not the same but are the same. <laughs> I'm excited about oh, wow. tonight. Hey, you I guys... don't want to say tell the comedy store how to do this, but all <laughs> these people over here on the side should be sitting over there because they can't. We see we shit. Doug, we know, we know. We okay. literally got into a, a right. vicious argument okay, with management I, last I, week I'm about sad it. I brought it up. It's a whole it's thing. It's a good thing this is here, so I can just kill myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> just Harry Carey for saying that. <laughs> uh, Northern California. Northern California. What part? Uh, East Bay. Where the bar ends. What is going on? He's out of control. He really is already. She lives out by the bearded barley. That's that song. <laughs> That's lines from that song. Thank you. Doug Benson. Everybody. Where'd you meet her at? Oh, uh, this is so a uncomfortable. Bar. Let it happen, Doug. Okay, please, for the sorry. love of God. Sorry. It's like the worst thing you could do is so. just keep. Let it all happen, Doug. <laughs> Plus, in real life, this whole thing would go straight to HR. <laughs> At the just, warehouse. Just, just asking somebody, hey, well, what'd you fuck last? <laughs> How was that when you were fucking the last time you did it? We Tell could, us we, all about it. We could just talk about movies and pot continuously, but uh, on this show, we like to uh, get into some compelling yeah. uh, subject matter and put people on the spot yeah, in a live nobody show. nobody cares about movies. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> about, I forgot about the put them on the spot nature. I mean, it's a live show, oh, Doug. It's a whole thing. You've been a guest like nine times, but I, I'm glad that you're uh, having it. Was she a white girl, black well, I, girl, Mexican? I, I, compl I completely get what's happening. And that's why I'm saying it's weird that you're asking him those questions. Why do you think you're slow? <laughs> the weed thing? It's not, oh, it's not don't that. Blame the weed, man. It's not that. Come on, man. Doug and I, I know for Doug a is fact. A functioning high person right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm so fucking functioning. <laughs> no, his, uh, his parents hit him in the head with a brick of weed when he was there. <laughs> that wouldn't even hurt, dude. <laughs> fucking weed is soft as shit. Yeah, so he fell in a, on the grass, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, babe. I'll stick around for the entire life span of both of us. I'll fucking put roses on your grave and I'll visit every day. Wow, you're like the I'll worst Franco ever. ever. He's not like a Franco, doesn't he? Well, yeah, that was only the first third of my speech, but <laughs> I love you. Oh, shit, I'm glad I interrupted you. <laughs> um, I'm just, Do you have a musical theater background? Not, no, I have a theater background. Theater, no, because I, we, saw, we, I thought I might have spelled yeah. that a yeah. little bit. I hear a little, like... <laughs> Wait, that's not that's not what I was saying. Yeah, I'm saying. It. I was saying. I was saying you had a theatrical, like a college or high school theatrical energy. I'll yeah, say I, it. I think. I think Adam had. Said, a, I did said. not say that the about. Undertone, you just went. I did not say that about <laughs> this heterosexual <laughs> young man. Are you straight? Yes, I. Am. I knew it. <laughs> what? Where are you a server at? Well, there's this new place called Mixed Company on Sunset. Uh, it's um, like a little coffee shop, and then it transitions. Into an escort service. <laughs> oh. it, has anyone ever called you Vlad the Inhaler? Oh, I do like that. <laughs> I thought that it was cool myself. 
We talked about the game, and then we sat on the couch. We watched a half episode did, did of Stranger you, Things, and then um, then what happened during Stranger <laughs> Things? <laughs> Stranger the Things happened. Little alien invasion. Yeah. Nothing like no. a bunch of teenage <laughs> children to really get a sexy, <laughs> a sexy <laughs> situation going. He he sh he showed her his. Oh, 11. that fair, that fat sheriff's really got me <laughs> fucking hot. Um, I feel like she wasn't really talking with you about the Dodgers. That seems like the shortest conversation. No, this is like wow, that game was crazy. Yeah. Like, there's no way crazy. some chick we was like, yeah, Netflix. I can't believe Puig with the RBIs and all that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it what was the fuck an is... exciting finish. It really got yeah. everybody. Kevin, yeah. really you, wait, you were there when he fucked her? Yeah, yeah, it was exciting when he finished. <laughs> he called it fucking seven <laughs> Doug just stretch, you know what I mean? <laughs> Doug just hung out in the corner and smoked weed. He's like, oh, oh, hashtag sexy necklace. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I saw a guy take a shit Santa in, in Monica a and what? <laughs> and for months. How, did you really see somebody blowing somebody? I saw a guy take a shit in a bucket. In a bucket. Okay, well, yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> Good call. <That's> terrible. <laughs> Very good, Brian. Um, <laughs> Oh my God! Drink, Are you gonna give him a cookie? What's the what's the what's the, what's the, what's the cartoon what's the cartooniest thing you've seen though? Do you go to work each day to sad jazz music? <laughs> no, I work I work from home. Wow! That was now so walk walk around like you're going to work. Yeah, with you, with your head down, Charlie Brown style. Another day at accounts receivable. Here at the old sock company. Stop by and wave to the girl in HR. That's like the weirdest answer to me. Like, smoke pot or don't smoke pot, but that's not one of the things that you excel at in life. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Yeah, I was right. just about to say. <laughs> Every single fat girl. Like you want to, you want to swipe right. Caleb, by I don't think you're 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 a narcoleptic. Yeah. Uh, you're a narcoleptic yeah. like Waldo. You I don't appreciate think you're going to get some big pillows to sleep on. <laughs> Slumbers can't be choosers. Yeah, it's, okay, it's, it's more son of a bitch. It's more cushion for you're the handsome cushion. and you're funny, and I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> Everybody can do. Do you have any other impressions? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's another voice oh, you can I, do? I don't. You don't. Oh, he I does don't. It. So I, I kind of agree to not. Can I teach him one that. real quick? Yeah, do it. This is uh, Christopher Walken. When he finds out his flight's been canceled, why? <laughs> like impressions are not that hard, dude. You you can hear uh, Doug Benson in a new Batman movie, by the that's way. That's right, he's been. Yeah. Yeah. Lego Bane. Batman. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Pew pew, yeah. pew pew pew. Is that where you, what <laughs> was that? You, you make, make noises. The guns, they make the gun noises. And they make of, their own gun noises, yeah. but Bane doesn't. The other characters do. Oh. Yeah, so it's very <laughs> insulting to me, Nick. I'm sorry. It. But if he did make a gun noise, it would be like this. <laughs> pew, pew, pew! <laughs> <laughs> Doug Benson! Doug Benson! He's Doug Benson in the morning. He's Doug Benson at night. He's Doug Benson everywhere he goes, because it makes him feel all right. Oh, we had a blast. Yeah. Smoking weed Very on balconies nice time. On, a, on a crazy boat. Yeah. Since then, you got married, so I never hear from you. <laughs> That's not true. I'm hanging out just more than ever. You really do this with your blood and your plants? I do. Why? It's actually good for the plants. It helps them grow, and it helps to... So is water, though. Have you... <laughs> It's better than water. Do your, do your plant is by any chance go, Feed me, Avanti! <laughs> Period blood. That's like, that is, it's, it's a little shop of whores. Where do you put the period blood? Do you put it in like one of those like flower water pots? Do you squat over a flower water pot? And do your plants starve when you're off at Burning Man? <laughs> You must be Batman when it comes to the titties. Because looking at them breasts, you got them. My girl, your Fuck tits that. are like Batman because you got them? No, you say you got to tell her, you got to tell her like, damn, you must be Batman when it comes to the titties. Because looking you, at them breasts, you got them. You I'm sorry that I took so many of those words out of it. Yeah, you don't need to say all that extra stuff. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hey. Yeah. Yep. Has anybody said to you, uh... 
<laughs> Forget it. Oh, uh, I think I know where you were going. I, I have a feeling in my gut. I, I was going to try to do a Gotham joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you have goth wings because you got them. <laughs> Gotham titties. What's so funny about Gotham titties? Is it because what? they are darker in a dark neighborhood, a dark place? While he's stealing money. Do they put the bad signal on your titties? Because you got them! <laughs> I like when uh, in Dark Knight Rises, when uh, somebody disappears on Batman, and he's standing there and he goes, So that's what that's like. Like, there's no reason for him to do the Batman voice when he's alone talking to himself. <laughs> Well, you know, I enjoy smoking out of a uh, volcano, so I understand why you would make that uh, error tonight. <laughs> Keep this fun train moving along. You guys having fun out there, huh? <laughs> what did you think I said? I thought you said cunt train. Cunt train. Let's keep this cunt train moving at a thousand miles an hour. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Uh, tried to find your par parents. I know where they are. Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Have I'm, you ever talked to them? Uh, I, I, I'm not a fucking clairvoyant man. <laughs> so, my, what? My, my dad's dead, and whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, my whoa. mom, my mom doesn't uh, doesn't have good parenting instincts. Well, oh, sounds shit. like that's your, that should be your opener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That song, that song is what we call a real mustache dropper. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, terrific instinct coming out your first time and saying bitch repeatedly because that... <laughs> That's really winning over crowds these days. But uh, that is a uh, resting bitch face is a, is a fun concept. And uh, so there's a little bit there, I think. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I watch your podcast all the time. It's a trip and I'm like staring this. All right, all right, all right, Danny. You're on a fucking podcast right now talking about another podcast. What's going on? Jesus How do you Christ. feel about Impractical Jokers? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's finished now. You look like you need show. iron in your diet and on your clothes. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. All right, I was wrong. Sorry. You look vegan. It's okay. What about bread? I, I love it. Yeah. Sometimes. The bun is a tribute, right? <laughs> wow. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that the one that you ended up marrying? That was my second wife. Oh. That, no. <laughs> my wives. <laughs> God, not really. Yeah. But well, I let mean, me just start by fun. saying uh, I recommend a long pant. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, that was an impressive debut. Have you been on any adventures lately, Tintin? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Two. I joined the Mormon Church later in life. Yeah. Like, well, not later in life. When I was seventeen. Yeah. You meant latter in life, so, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. <laughs> so couldn't do find that. a Castro bear. <laughs> <laughs> Always keeping it local. What's the Castro bear? Yeah, what Castro? Is that? The Castro district is where the uh, Man, I'll stay away from those parts. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been on stand up? Uh, about 7 years. 7 years. Fuck. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> It's around, it's around year five or six that you learn to open your set with anyway. Tony. It, or is it it's Tony, right? Yeah, yeah. It's called Kill Tony. I swear you don't even know where you are. He thought this was going to go way differently, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Walk off. That should be the number one rule on this show is, is no You can't leave off. no matter how terribly we treat you. <laughs> Did Bluto ever take it from you and smash it against the wall? Um, I'm sure he was tempted. Yeah. Is that movie too old now? Is that Popeye? No, Bluto in Animal House. <laughs> wow, blow me oh. down. Yeah, I don't know. It's either too old to reference or wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could go either way. It's fun times. 
I, I think I've laughed harder this episode than ever before in my life. I just think shit's hilarious. Great pot up here. Or just this is just a great show or a little bit of both. This is an uh, amazing show we're doing. Yes, it is. We're in the middle of it. And why do you look like you ate all the food on the pirate ship? <laughs> He looks like the only one who didn't get scarvy. <laughs> I didn't know Trader Joe sold food by the pound. <laughs> I like you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what does your dad do? Uh, he makes car battery chargers. Like you wow. charge your car. Yeah. Car yeah. battery Well, chargers. like a little thing you just clip on there and yeah, it'll exactly. charge it? Exactly. That's genius. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it was already, he didn't invent that. Idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the blue hair so you could get a senior citizen's discount? Is that still a thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where Doug just thought that whole people blue, blue hair blue jokes. Hair. <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that like an old thing? Did old old people are t- are referred to as having blue hair. Oh, uh, yeah. You're welcome. All right. You're welcome. It's a thing we used to do in the fifties. <laughs> Tony Me and all the fucking blue hairs would get together. And we'd laugh. Why didn't you do this as part of your set? Because it's longer than a minute. Uh, it's a short size, probably like a minute thirty, but we don't yeah, have to yeah. do it if you don't. If no, you don't do, that, at least that? do a minute of it. <laughs> oh, 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 all right, <laughs> come back to Kill Dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's the whistle on the play. There's a penalty on the field. Overhosting, fifteen yard penalty. I don't know. I guess you missed the part where everybody's super thrilled to hear the song. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a uh, Burlington Tiny Coat Factory yeah. nearby. <laughs> Kill Tony's been a lot of fun lately. Uh-huh. And I am pumped, and here we are. Mark is already being cynical. <laughs> I like it. I'm excited I about it. I believe you. I believe you. I believe what you say. <laughs> I'm the mind freak, Tony. You better watch your ass. Yeah. It's Chris Anal. <laughs> and so I'm running... A couple blocks with my Chinese food, and then I dropped my uh, my pan fried dumplings in my lo mein, uh-huh. and he keeps chasing me. But we get about two blocks away from his car. You ran he... in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an important detail that you guys don't know and that he didn't know, and then it's on him really fucking fast. And so I go running back to his car. I We're, take the keys out of the you're ignition. You're fast in that situation, maybe. But not at getting to the end of this story. I with ran over to the storm drain. Do you replace him in his grunge band? <laughs> no, I did it last week. I got chewed out for not knowing there's cows in Fresno. <laughs> you did oh, yeah. it last yeah. week. You didn't, you didn't take they, a whiff of air while you were there? No. Well, I know. I'm glad you explained that because I thought like, oh, no, it's happening. I, yeah. I don't know what it is, but we all assumed it would happen eventually to Doug. When is this fucking weed going to catch up to me? <laughs> it's going to happen someday. Oh, <laughs> uh, hello, Sarah. <laughs> been the biggest yeah. asshole of a comic that you've had. Um, this table excluded. Yeah. It was, uh, who's the guy that plays Mr. D? Oh, uh, Jerry D? Jerry D, yeah. Okay, well, mm. that's Oops. enough. Ooh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't know that one. I, don't know. All right. I know Jerry. How long have you been doing <laughs> that? I'm for? not jumping to his defense. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what horse you were riding in the Preakness. <laughs> it looks like a horse riding shirt. <laughs> I can see why that could be a horse riding <laughs> <shirt>. structure. <laughs> <laughs> but that was hilarious, dude. Thanks. That's my first time. I haven't been on when he's come on. Oh, really? I've heard about him, but I haven't seen one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I haven't seen him do it. Mark, this is and your that first was really time good. seeing... We uh, hooked you up with the eHarmony account. How's that going for you? Uh, I've been trying, but nobody wants to talk to me on it. So. Right. Well, uh, it does yeah. seem like... Uh, What's your profile picture, though? Is, is, it, y- is it you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If so, that's the problem. Really, you think it's all about the hair and the beard for you? I feel like it helps a little bit. Yeah. Well, it for to, a be a, like, to be uh, seen as sort of like... Oh, like everybody, uh, Mark, everybody loves a comedian that looks like he's hitchhiking a ride home at the end of the Haunted Mansion ride. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? 
26. Yeah, man. You got to get this. You're young for that look. You can always go back to that look. His, his comedy is, <laughs> is grunge-rated. Underrated, but with grunge at the front. Listen. <laughs> Well, you like looking around going, they call this the University of Caucasian the Lost Amongst Asians. Where do I fit in? Um, I, could you repeat that? <laughs> I don't think I could. <laughs> okay. All right, moving on. All right. The uh, Cap City, one of yeah. my favorite clubs in the country, yeah. is uh, extra cool. You don't seem very autistic. I'm high, I'm high functioning. Oh, okay. High functioning. Uh, yeah, Me really? too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're high functioning. Doug's functioning high. <laughs> Okie dokie. And all right. And we are off and running. Other Did than you star in the movie Old Footloose? <laughs> <laughs> Old Footloose. Old Footloose. You know, you're right. You are the second uh, female comedian that was pulled out of the bucket, but you're the one that acted the most like a female comedian uh, up here, really reminding us exactly uh, what females doing comedy is That's usually a like. Right? <laughs> I just got the evil eye from right. Doug on that one. That's a compliment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he looks like he would play Smee in the rock version of Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. You look like you should be on a box of oatmeal I wouldn't eat. (laughs) Hey, it might get you high, though. Maybe. (laughs) I'll try it. Incredible. (laughs) Let me just say, I'm sorry that my brother couldn't be here tonight. I know. Listen, Doug walked by the L.A. fires and was like, can I get a puff? (laughs) Faith life. How many of you would prefer to see someone bomb here tonight? That's me. I'd like to see that. A little high. Do that first. Okay, that sounds about right. Happened in 2001. Sounds ballpark. (laughs) (laughs) Doug doesn't know how math works. Yeah, that's 2018, 17 years. It's a quick. But man, why are you clinging to that year so much? (laughs) Well, you know. What else happened that year? Do you remember? (laughs) No, never forget is what I say. (laughs) Who do you Um, think was behind your haircut? Is, uh, hit me. Is yeah. it hard for her to do hot comedy? <laughs> Forget it. All right. It was too mean. It was too mean. I loved it in my head. Ooh, it's too mean. Too mean. Now high, I want to hear so it. It's a I'll write it down and mail it to everyone. Mail. I did, used to do math. That was pretty weird. You, one whoa. Time. One, time, to, one time. One time I did math. math? Well, you yeah, can't say time. used to do you, it and then it was just once. It was just once. That's tried it. Tried yeah, tried it. it. I tried it. Tried I tried it. it. It Elephant did. reached in your gin and tonic yeah. and had a sip. Because they're, they're like so big that the surface Thank God you area... roofied it. Thank God you roofied it. <laughs> That's why you always do it, guys. An elephant right. can come in and an an elephant will remember if you don't roofie it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't. To one LA dream I can just keep alive. Uh, and this is Shakira at Starbucks. Venti, venti, venti. No ice, no ice, no ice. Please don't forget. No, i milk. Thank you. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I've never heard anybody do the, anything that great after the meow. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Wow. Yeah, best Rusty. after the Dude, meow. You really ever. Ever. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I think she that won. That sounded like he made a pre-belch noise. Yeah, I think she won. <laughs> Anybody could do yeah, that part. You, you did more pre-belching than she did material after the meow. Oh, listen to that one. Oh, my God. Wow. It's like I'm wow. about to watch an MGM movie. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with your uh, wedding? Your wife see you perform? Oh, to be honest with you, I've been married three times, actually. What? You've been married three times and yes, you're 24? Sir. Yes, sir. Talk how? about that. What? That's oh, fucking hilarious. I suck at everything. How the fuck is that possible? Yeah, Who like, are I'm you, Ross with... Geller? I actually how big is the bong you write with? I actually yeah. don't smoke. What? what? Yeah. Oh, one of those. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Very curious. Yeah. Are so, you ready for some awkwardness? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Yes, you are. Yeah, I'm doing all uh, right. I Doug should, just I shouldn't started be near a sword. <laughs> Doug just started smoking pot today for the first time. Uh, I love it so far. Work, well, you're familiar with this place, AutoZone. 
Ah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, I Just am. Get familiar. in the zone. Yeah. yeah. Auto zone. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> You know what's yeah. weird? I, I work <laughs> I work for AutoZone, but somehow anything that has a jingle this episode, you have to go right into I'm in, it. I'm in. I'll do the I'll do every jingle. You, how long have you been at AutoZone for? Uh, about two get in the zone. <laughs> no, no, not after you've <laughs> already once, done it. Yeah, only, only once. once. Yeah. <laughs> and working at AutoZone for some reason, I just ended up doing two AutoZone commercials. Just do that again. I was at the counter. I was like, I had a paper. I was like, ah. get in the ah. zone. <laughs> Auto zone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. you used to be one of the pet boys and yeah. you switched Get to in the zone. boys. Yeah, I worked there. <laughs> you put your phone down on the table and it had your jokes on it. Yeah. What if I had just grabbed it? I would have had to. Well, go. You, you wouldn't have known what to say? I would have went acapella, I guess. Um, acapella? That yeah. doesn't that's not <laughs> what that means. That is that is good. a uh, that is what what we would call a seven a.m. shadow or something like that, just <laughs> yeah. bright and barely existing at all. That was like you, like four or five min- months in though, when you were, grew out your mustache, Tony. <laughs> okay, roasted. You Does ro- Brian ever push I the bear sound on himself? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately <I> not. <laughs> That's right. Sound better already. 100%. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Very good. How about <laughs> by that? Maybe maybe I was hinting at you're talking too much on oh. the fucking show tonight. How about that? Yeah, all right. Your microphone's too loud. You know what? I need another drink. Yep. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'll take uh, a yeah, Crown Royal and Coke. Every, there, Let's do it, okay. David. <laughs> there you go. Crown and Coke. Turkey yep. ginger. There you go. Restaurant place. <laughs> Why are you cussing Jesus, so much? Fuck any fuck, 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 fuck. You yeah, fucking He's away from the kids. Is that a problem? The fuck spout opens. You cuss a lot in front of the kids? Absolutely. Yeah, I do. Yeah! I love it. Jesus. Oh. Ooh. Friend of the show, Bobby Lee, everybody. Bobby! Hey, Bobby! Bobby, what are you doing? Bobby, take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. Come say hi, Bobby. What are you doing? She's Louise, just walking through. I mean, maybe the gong sound made him leave. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, my ancestors. Come on, Brian. (laughs) She's Louise. Uh, You ever hook up with anybody at the library? You ever get yourself a little book cougar or something like that? You know what I mean? Uh, not, Not lately, no. No. You really have never been like, she's like, no, not here. And you're like, shh. No, no, no. He opened strong, but with each sentence... I, it made less and less sense to me until at the end I had no idea what was going on. Wow, you broke his formula. <laughs> <laughs> These are rare. Yeah. Doug Benson. Hey, oh. Doug Benson! I just, I recognize this guy. There's the elephant from my show. I'm glad it's still around. <laughs> I just wanted to mention this guy. He, was, he played a phonograph on the uh, Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for Doug Benson, everybody. So tell me, Manuel, what did the yeah. packaging on this thing say? It was just like a cookie, and I just mushed it, and I put it up. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Are you being serious? No. Yeah. You had 60 seconds to say that in your stand-up act, and you didn't mention that. I wanted to condense it. I don't know. I just You didn't I, think that that part might be interesting? No, because that's dirty. That's dirty. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Was it just an Oreo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. That's but, one um, way. I, I don't know. The eggs you just got to throw in a, oh, <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Can you say, my friend died from ovarian cancer and then throw a yeah. dice tag on there? My friend died of ovarian cancer. Oh, wha- that's right. <laughs> huh? that's all. What? That's that was like, you, we felt your pain. Oh, <laughs> oh, she, oh. Did. oh she did. Oh, she did. Oh, ovarian cancer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, incredible. Uh, with, by the way, with our luck, this will be the one time Dice is in the back of the room watching. Like, <laughs> you know fuck? what? Maybe I'll finally do this show next week. Let's see what they're doing in here. Oh, they're fucking mocking me. Oh! Uh. <laughs> is that how he reacts to things yeah. in his daily life <laughs> that he's really? not happy about? Yeah. I got a pocket ticket. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, Dice, you want to do Kill Tony next week? He's like, no! <laughs> what, was, what were the things? Like, he will not, what was it? Yeah, her, like, her body, her choice, a lot of that. Hell yeah. Uh, her body, your choice. I don't choice. really remember a lot of All that. All right, okay. I was focused on... 
Her body, her choice, my wish. <laughs> <laughs> So do you do any uh, special crazy things in the bedroom? Again, Puerto Ricans are notorious for uh, being I, I wild. I try to finger his ass, but he never lets me. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> he's super shy. What, what ha- why won't he let you? Is there a cookie in there? <laughs> <laughs> the king of the callback tonight, Doug Benson. <laughs> he just cracked the fucking cookie code on this show. <laughs> I love it. How about one more time for the great Doug Benson, everybody? 